Statcraft is a Norwegian company engaged in power generation and is present in more than 20 countries with the development and operation of renewable energy projects. Statcraft is Europe's largest generator of renewable energy and in Peru it generates 100% hydropower. Since the first half of 2014, Statcraft increased its share interest in SN Power Peru, taking control of its eight power plants and ongoing projects. These power plants generate approximately 1600 gigawatt hours per year, thus contributing to the national electrical system. Statcraft Peru has been building the Chévez hydropower project since 2010 in the provinces of Huaura and Oyong, Lima region. Chévez Hydropower Project. Chévez is a power plant project that comprises of the construction of a run of river hydropower plant. This plant will harness the force of the water from the Waura and Chequas rivers for hydropower generation. After the generation process, all the water taken will be returned in the same physical and chemical conditions to the river. The Chévez hydropower plant will have an installed capacity of 168 megawatts and will generate 837 gigawatt hours per year. The generation works as well as the 220 kilovolt and 13.8 kilovolt transmission lines of the Chévez project along its 104 kilometers traverse eight districts of the Lima region. As of December 2014, the construction of the Chévez project recorded an accumulated progress of 96.5% towards project completion. The project starts between the districts of Andajes and Chequas, where the Waura intake is located. Part of the water from the Waura River is taken in at this location and then conveyed to the Chequas Dam. This portion of the works was completed in December 2014 and the pre-commissioning was started which is to say the erection and operation tests of the electromechanical equipment at the intake. In the Chequas River, the construction of the Chequas headworks for the hourly regulation of the Chequas and Waura rivers was completed. The headworks are composed of the Chequas Dam, Intake, D. Sanders, and Four Bay. In 2014, the pre-commissioning tests of the electromechanical equipment were performed in order to ensure the installation of the equipment in optimal conditions and confirmation that they are ready for the dam filling stage. The civil infrastructure of the powerhouse of the Chévez project located in a cavern was concluded. Similarly, the electrical and mechanical equipment started to be installed, including turbines, generators, power transformers, ventilation and air conditioning systems, cooling systems and encapsulated switchgear the Picunche Compensation Reservoir that will regulate the water flow in the dry season located downstream of the powerhouse was also completed in 2014 and is ready for the necessary tests. The underground tunnels of the project that have a combined length of 14 kilometers have already been built and interconnected. The 220 kilovolt transmission line and the 13.8 kilovolt distribution line were successfully completed the first filling of the head race tunnel of approximately 10 kilometers in length, which connects the Chequas hourly regulation dam with the powerhouse, where the energy will be generated, is scheduled to be concluded in 2015. This is how we commenced the testing stage of the project ahead of the plant operation. This period includes the final connection tests to ensure adequate performance of the equipment in observance with all the safety standards and being ready to work under different operating conditions. To this end, we are currently working to complete the civil infrastructure and the installation of the hydromechanical and electromechanical equipment, which is 94.2% complete. In 2015, after conducting the first dry testing stage, we will proceed with the wet tests as part of the project commissioning, a stage in which all the equipment is tested in a real scenario. This involves mechanical and electrical tests, tests of generator units with and without power, energizing of the 220 kilovolt transmission line and the mid-voltage 13.8 kilovolt transmission line and synchronization with the national interconnected system. 
In parallel to these tests, the operations management of Statcraft Peru is currently imparting on-the-job training to its personnel by directly carrying out the assembly of equipment together with contractors so that our personnel are conversant with the assembly of electromechanical equipment, thus ensuring that they can successfully carry out maintenance works in the future in an effective and efficient manner. Regarding environmental care, the implementation of the participatory monitoring program was concluded this year. With regards to the construction stage and in compliance with the IFC requirements, the Environmental Flow Management Plan was prepared and will be used as a management tool for the integrated and sustainable handling of the water resource in the Chekris and Wauda rivers during the operation of the hydropower plant to maintain and guarantee the established ecological flow. Moreover, the abandonment plans concerning the future transmission systems were implemented satisfactorily. Lastly, this plan is being implemented by the civil work contractor for the auxiliary, temporary and provisional facilities of the project. The construction and tests of the Chevez hydropower plant are now in the final stage, following high standards on engineering, corporate responsibility, safety and environmental care. During its construction, the Chevez project employed more than 3,000 workers, many of them local villagers, who were trained on the different activities in the Chevez project. We will soon start the operation of the Chevez hydropower plant, which was completed thanks to the joint efforts of the different groups involved in bringing this major project into fruition.